um, my hair is not cooperating. It was just up in two buns, but, um, I didn't really love, ooh, I almost dropped these books. I wasn't really loving how it looked, so, um, so yeah, wasn't really loving how it looked, and, and it was just annoying so welcome to today's video as you can see by the title actually let me move this down a little bit as you can see no where i should sit yeah okay sorry y'all okay as y'all can see by today's title I don't like that any better either. Let's just move it back. I'm just in this high up right now. Okay. As y'all can see by today's title, I'm going to show y'all a recent book haul. Um, I did not buy all these books myself. Some of these books were given to me, um, as I have explained to y'all before. If you watched my TikTok, little TikTok hauls recently, if y'all haven't, go follow me. It'll be right here. Um, if y'all watched my TikTok calls recently, you will know what I'm talking about. Well, you will see have seen some this of these book books. book that I got is called Let That Shit Go. And it says, journal your way to feeling weightless as fuck. Sorry, y'all. I don't know if I can say that or not. This is a journal for leaving your bullshit behind and creating a happy life. Can't wait to start using that. I feel like I can't just journal on my own. I need a guided journal so that's one of the things that i got um then i got this book this is an actual book it's called behind closed doors by ba paris and uh it says this one everyone knows a couple like jack and grace he has looks and both she has charm and elegance he's a dedicated attorney who has never lost a case she is a flawless homemaker a masterful gardener and cook and dotes on her disabled younger sister Though they are so newlyweds, they seem to have it all. You might not want to like them, but you do. You're hopelessly charmed by the ease and comfort of their home, by the graciousness of the dinner parties they throw. You'd like to get to know Grace better, but it's difficult because you realize Jack and Grace are inseparable. Some might call this true love. Others might wonder why Grace never answers the phone or why she can never meet for coffee, even though she doesn't work, how she can cook such elaborate meals but remain so slim, or why she never seems to take anything with her when she leaves the house, not even a pin. Or why there are such high security metal shutters on all the downstairs windows. Some might wonder what's really going on once the dinner party is over and the front door has closed. I cannot wait to read this. I've heard good things about it. Check the trigger warnings. Please, please, please check the trigger warnings before you read this. That was all I was told by a lot of people. I don't, I mean, I have trigger warnings, but I've learned to deal with them, but you guys please check the trigger warnings before you pick this up i don't want to be the cause of anybody of anything so please check the trigger warnings before you read this book the next book is the cousins by karen and mcmanus and this one says families keep the best secrets even from each other millie aubrey and jonah's story are cousins but they barely know each other and they've never even met their grandmother Rich and reclusive, she disinherited their parents before they were born, so when they each receive a letter inviting them to work at her island resort for the summer, they're surprised and curious. Their parents are unwavering on one point, not going is not an option. This could be their chance to get back into grandmother's good graces, but when the cousins arrive on the island, it's immediately clear that she has different plans for them, and the longer they stay, the more they realize how mysterious and dark their family's past is. The entire story family has secrets. Whatever pulled them apart years ago isn't over, and this summer the cousins will learn everything if they can survive the season. Wow. I um recently discovered that I love, well, I don't know if I love the book or not because I watched the TV show for um, One of Us is Lying. Um, but I'm, I have the book, and that is one of the books I'm going to read next month. So, um, this is Girl in Pieces. I already have a physical copy of this, but... Um, somehow it got damaged and I really wanted a new one. I like to keep my books in decent condition. They don't have to be perfect, but that one had literally candy and something else on it. And I was upset about it. So I don't even want to talk about it. This one says, 
you can spot the girls who have it easy and then there's me charlotte davis is in pieces at 17 she's already lost more than most people do in a lifetime but she's learned how to forget the broken glass she just learned how to forget the broken glass washes away the sorrow until there is nothing but calm you don't have to think about your father in the river your best friend who is gone forever or your mother who has nothing left to give you every new scar hard hardens charlie's heart just a little more yet it still hurts so much it hurts enough to not care anymore which is sometimes what has, what has to happen before you can find your way back from the edge okay and it says there's a discussion guide inside i don't know why but there's a discussion guide inside this is i am not your perfect mexican daughter by erica l sanchez and it says Perfect Mexican daughters do not go away to college. They do not move out of their parents' house after high school graduation. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> y'all, y'all may think I cannot read or talk, but I can. It is so annoying that I cannot get my words out sometimes. Okay, let's try this again. It says, perfect Mexican daughters never abandon their family, but Julia is not your perfect Mexican daughter. That was her sister Olga's role. Then a tragic accident leaves Olga dead and Julia reassembling the shattered pieces of her family and no one seems to acknowledge that Julia is broken too. Inside, instead, her mother channels her grief into pointing out every possible way Julia has felt. But it's not long before Julia suspects that Olga might not have been as perfect as everyone thought. With the help of her best friend Lorena and her first love, first everything, Connor, Julia is determined to uncover the truth. Was Olga really what she seemed? And how can Julia even attempt to live up to a seemingly impossible ideal? Can't wait to read. Oh, I have so many books I can't wait to read. I just need to learn how to read faster. <laughs> I'm on book three of the year, though, so that's good for me. And it is January 18th, Wednesday the 18th at 2.33. I think I'm going to read. Gen I watch Jenny and Georgia when I get back from my little... um trip to get my money and food i found this on the web why does siri always think somebody's talking to her girl anyways i have to go get my check for my job so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna go get subway for my fiance and i'm gonna grab subway for myself because i really don't feel like cooking anything right now so that's what i'm gonna do but this says if he had been with me this is a novel by laura nolan and it says, I wasn't with Finn on that August night, but I should have been. It was raining, of course, and he and Sylvia were arguing as he drove down the slick road. No one ever says what they were arguing about. Other people think it's not important. They do not do not know there is another story. The story that the story that lurks between the facts. What they do not know, the cause of the argument is crucial. So let me tell you. Wow. And then. This is a classic. It is Jane Austen's Persuasion. I want to start reading some classic books. So I asked people to leave recommendations and someone left this one. This is a very short book or at least it's just small. Um, so can't wait to read that. And then the last book that I recently picked up is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Wong. And it says Stella Lane comes up with algorithms to predict customer purchases a job that has given her more money than she knows what to do with and way less experience in the dating department than the average 30 year old. It doesn't help that Stella has Asperger's or that French kissing reminds her of a shark getting its teeth cleaned by pilot fish. Her conclusion, she needs lots of practice with a professional. With a professional, which is why she hires escort Michael Fawn Michael Fan with the looks of a K-drama star and the martial arts moves to match. The Vietnamese Swedish stunner can't afford to turn down Stella's offer. And when she comes up with a lesson plan, he proves willing to help her check off all the boxes from foreplay to more than missionary position. Before long, Stella not only learns to appreciate his kisses, but to crave all of the other things he's making her feel. Their no-nonsense partnership starts making a strange kind of sense, and the pattern that emerges will convince Stella that love is the best kind of logic. This sounds really good. So I picked up, well, people have picked up for me because I did not buy a single one of these books. Eight books. Seven of them are actual books and one of them is a journal. I cannot wait to read them. Um, my next book related videos that come up will probably be all the books that I read for January when it's time for that. But at 
the moment it is not time for that so those are all the books i recently picked up leave in the comments some books you think i should read or books that you think i would like that i should pick up or a book that you want me to specifically review with no spoilers thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one i don't want to see you